Well, it always reminds me of our tagline, which is partners in the work of the spirit. And the, the, the volunteers that come really come freely on their own. You know, some were teachers and some were um, uh, nurses and, and some were office leaders. And um, a couple of them have been principals. And, and some just come from being mothers and, and being sisters and, and being caring people that want to make a difference in someone's life. And I think it's that wanting to make a difference that, that they really make a difference in my life. Uh, they're able to help us uh, serve with whatever needs that the women have in regard to uh, getting them to groups, some self-esteem groups or getting them to uh, um, uh, abuse um, or nonviolent uh, behaviors. But try, trying to, each one of them, you know, coming with their own energies and their own times and and, and their own generosity in, in order to see that the life of Sojourner continues. So I, I think that uh, it's the volunteers seeing that um, um, their own generosity, um, wanting, to, wanting to give and wanting to make a difference in, in the lives of the men and women who, who come, and seeing that uh, little things that the, that the person shares helps them see that they are making a difference in, in someone's life and that they are able to um, uh, to give her some resources or to give her uh, a start you know, can, in ways that the, the volunteer never thought that they'd be able to do before. And, and then seeing the volunteer just, just like um, th this connector you know, between, um, between the women and, and our staff and, and, uh, and the scheduling in order to, to fill in and to really be there in order to um, help us inspire and care for the women and, and care for the children and, and see that the needs are met. There are some who do um, uh, groups, like we call it Women Aid, and it's based on a, a doctor who um, was spending all of her money in order to take care of the poor who were com coming to her. And her husband said, honey, you're going to make us poor. You know, you know first of all, you're, you're spending all your time you know, taking care of the people who are sick. But if something happened to you, what would we do? So they came to this conclusion between them that if you have lemons, you make lemonade. If you have women, you make women aid. So she decided to invite some of her friends together and ask them to bring some money and bring a dish and then people could sit down and talk and, and eat, which we all love to do. And so, sometimes the, um, the, the prayer life of the associates uh, is very important to us. And they've also helped us uh, in regard to thanking the volunteers, you know, helping us prepare dishes and helping us prepare um, an appreciation uh, dinner so that um, they will know that we're not just out there by ourselves, that there are other sisters and there are some associates to the poor handmaids. There's the Fiat Spiritus group, there's the Ancilla College group, there's some colleges in the area, all of those connecting with us in order to make a difference. I think when, whenever they start coming to Sojourner, they start seeing that um, th there's a need, they can fill the need. And I think that surprises them because sometimes they think, oh, it would be such a big need, I couldn't even begin to, to see the impact of what I do. But it's when, when they start seeing the, the difference that they make and how they are uh, connecting to the success of Sojourner and connecting to the success of the community, uh, that they continue to do it and continue to be moved by their own generosity and, and by the, um, the giftedness of of the talents that they have.